All right, let's shift gears now. David Hockney and Vincent Van Gogh are two visionary artists who may have been separated by time, but still share the same fascination with nature. Hockney Van Gogh, the Joy of Nature exhibit at the Museum of Fine Arts Houston, has the two artists side by side for the first time in an American museum. Lauren Kelly is giving us a closer look at the colorful display. Lauren, I'm so excited that you're there today because I'm so intrigued and I'm really excited to see this exhibit. Absolutely, Courtney. When you look at some of these paintings, look at the brightness, look at the color. These two artists really share a love for painting landscapes, for painting nature, and bringing the color into both of those things. And here to tell us more about it is the curator of this exhibit. This is Anne Dumas. Thank you for joining us. Something really cool I want to just get out of the way. You've met David Hockney before. Yes, I have. I've met him on a few occasions, actually. And how is he in person? Oh, he's fun. He wears brilliant colored clothes always. He he talks very engagingly. He's very amusing. He's nearly 84. He works nonstop all the well, time. Well, I, I would definitely have guessed that. So let's talk a little bit about this exhibit. It's here in town at the Museum of Fine Arts Houston until June 20th. What we're doing is we're taking the Van Gogh and we're showing Hockney's version of it as well, correct? Yes. yes. Um, yeah, this is an exhibition that brings together for the first time in the United States these two great artists, Van Gogh, great artist from the end of the 19th century, Hockney, the most important living British artist today. Absolutely, and right behind you is a Van Gogh mm -hmm. that you said was about autumn, right? Yes, this is a landscape of, of an autumn scene painted by Van Gogh um, in 1889. He once said he liked to live somewhere where it was always autumn. <laughs> well, Texas is definitely not that place. <laughs> but then Hockney's version is right over here. Paul, if you want to come on and, and show this, yeah. how do we get into Hockney? Version. Well, as you can immediately see, it's on a very different scale and the colors are more intense. But you have to remember that Hockney is working at a much later time, you know, well over a hundred years. Absolutely, later. and I believe he works with iPads as well. He works. I don't think Van Gogh ever got a chance to work with no, iPads. I, although Hockney did say that if ha Van Gogh could have had an iPad, he would have probably enjoyed it. That's wonderful. And don't go anywhere. You guys don't go anywhere. We've got much more from this beautiful exhibit here at the Museum of Fine Arts coming up a little bit later on in the show. So Derek and Courtney, back to you guys in the studio. Fantastic. It's beautiful. Those colors are so vivid. So vibrant. I love it. Lauren, thanks so much. When we come back... So the Joy of Nature exhibit is on display now at the Houston Museum of Fine Arts and we've just been kind of walking around the space and some of the paintings compared side by side are absolutely fantastic and here breaking down even more with us is the curator of this exhibit, Anne Dumas. First of all, I want to start with the painting that we're in front of right now. Tell us about this Hockney piece. Uh, this is a kind of riff that he's done on a, a Dutch 17th century painting in the National Gallery in London, and it's all about perspective. Okay. Hockney thinks that traditional one-point perspective's a bit boring. Which is exactly what's going to take us over here to this painting. Come on, you guys. And the painting that we just saw right here is actually in this one, but this is not a photo, correct? This is an actual painting. No, this is a huge photo. <laughs> okay, see, my mind is crazy with this one. Uh, so it's it's a huge photo of his studio with lo with individual 3D photographs of all the objects in it. You kind mentioned of Hockney it. likes to use a lot of digital technology. Yeah, he's always one of the most interesting things about him is he's always been really experimental with technology. Wonderful. I really do love that about him. And before we go, there are plenty of prints and wonderful information you can get in the shop here at the museum. And thank you so much for taking the time. Again, and they'll be here at the museum until June 20th. More in info at HoustonLife.tv. Don't move. Houston Life will be right back. Thank you, Anne. Thank you.